Okay, still broadcasting here from my friend's backyard in Houston, Texas. So I don't know if you can... A couple of dragonflies just flew by. I'm trying to give you as much of this experience as I can. They're over there. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Oh, this is kind of cool. I mean, there's all these different colors. But if you look way back in the bayou there, you might be able to see a little red flower just kind of existing back there in a zen sort of state. Uh, it's between... I was going to point at them on my screen. I was going to point at the two trees. I wonder if I can do this. It's right, uh, kind of there. Uh, there's a beautiful little red flower that just kind of sticks out in the bayou there. But uh, I was, I got a email from one of the participants in my last class, and he said the reaction of the class took a few days. And he said the reaction, and then in brackets he put nuclear. And one of the things, if you look at the charts that I utilize, oh, there's the dragonfly right on the edge of the chair there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Thanks, Mia. Um, <clears throat> we talk about two different operating systems in the human biological computer. The human biological computer is you, by the way. Okay. And the two different operating systems. There's uh, the pristine that we were came onto the planet running on, and which were designed to run on, and the antiquated, which is uh, still haven't left the planet, but it is antiquated. Its time is done. Surely, as banks and governments are. Their time is done. Impermanence, we need to get rid of them. They're not working. But uh, and that is not the point of this video. Uh, what uh, the participant and my friend said, the reaction was nuclear. Well, between the two operating systems, the antiquated, the mundane, what you have to use a tremendous amount of your intelligence to learn and what most people are running on, there's an area of, of transition, basically, an area that, that you have to move through in order to get back into the pristine operating system, to reboot back into a system that you know, that's comforting, that's soothing, that you love. And the, the transition area, one of the words, one of the states is a state of critical mass, which is the amount of nu nuclear material that you need in order to compress to cause that tremendous energy-causing uh, surge and so far destructive uh, in a lot of ways uh, but but if you can get to that area of critical mass if you can float through and it, it won't be an easy float because there's anxiousness there's paradox there's confusion between the two worlds but there will be as you go through it into the reboot uh, it will take it will feel like a nuclear uh, explosion sometimes a nuclear reaction uh, the paradox and confusion will be profound but the heightened state of awareness and the soothing to the system and the happiness but by your system going back to the pristine operating system will be such a relief. Uh, I've just heard it again and again and again, and it's why I do what I do. Uh, once again, stop your world. Look around. What's different in your world right now? Uh, how is this moment unique and different from any that you've ever experienced? And how are you different and unique from any moment in time that you've ever experienced? Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com